Alright lads, this is Gav for Achievement Hunter, and uh, we're going to be doing some Halo 3 today. Classic Halo 3. We're going to be doing the multiplayer achievements, uh, 2 for 1, Overkill, Mongoose Mowdown, and Step and Razor. These all have to be done in ranked free for all, so uh, I'm doing Lone Wolves. Sometimes you get lucky with a bit of double XP weekend, but uh, usually you'll have to stick to Lone Wolves for this. All of these achievements were done legitimately, I didn't plan any of this crap and cheat in uh, the pre-game lobby. Like most of you, you should be ashamed of yourself. And uh, these will be easiest to achieve if you're in a objective game. Uh, obviously, here I'm in Slayer. I managed to get the two for one achievement here anyway. But if you're in a sort of a King of the Hill, just get the laser, stand outside the hill, and just blast through it. I've done it a few times since getting this achievement. It's pretty easy. Um, for this one, whoa! Check out the HUD there. What happened? Uh, for this one, I just tried to get the laser as much as possible. And then I uh, nabbed it and took it down into sort of a secluded area on the cliffside. And you basically just want to wait until two people overlap. And uh, luckily, it happened straight away here. Oh, two for one. Now this is overkill. Bernie doesn't believe me that I got this one. He thinks I cheated. I'll let you be the judge. Uh, notice that this is uh, this is when Lone Wolves only had five people in it. So it literally did mean kill every other player in the game. But uh, he doesn't believe me because the first guy I killed just sort of stares at me like a gormless twat. I don't know what he was doing. I said, look at him. I don't know what, he just didn't shoot me. I have no idea why. But that's honestly how it happened. And I was just clearing up with the hammer here. You, you're probably going to get this in an objective game over a Slayer game. People tend, up, tend to bunch up more in uh, objective kind of games. Now, very importantly, celebrate after every achievement. Check out those moves. Awesome. I died there, but we'll ignore that. Okay, Mongoose Mowdown. Uh, main aim is just to not focus on the game at all. To, like, check my score here. I'm not I'm not trying to win especially. I just kept getting on Mongooses this game. And I got on one here. And a fluky grenade just absolutely rammed me into the staircase there. I think it was his own grenade too. Check out this celebration. I went a bit went a bit different for that one. Oh yeah. That's style right there. Step and Razor. This was an objective game. I just sort of kept picking up the sword and going in the hill. Picked up the overshield there for a bit of help. There's the first guy. There's the second. Oh, there's the third right there. Get him, get him. Oh, look. The sword has run out. I'm batting him with an empty sword handle. That is excellent. I was very annoyed by that. So uh, I punched the wall over and over again. That wasn't one of my best moments, I'll be honest with you. I also tried to blow myself up. And I think after that, I chucked my controller on the ground. Yeah, which is why I uh, don't move for a while. Then after, like you know, sort of seven or eight seconds of feeling sorry for myself, I thought, hey man, there's still three minutes left in this game, I can still get it. I don't know why I was feeling so optimistic, I mean, what are the chances of almost getting it and then getting it in the same game? But uh, yeah, for some reason I picked up the sword again and went to the hill. I was really annoyed though, so I went up to this guy and I was like, you little f hacked him right up. Ugh. He deserved it, I mean, come on. I don't know what he did, to be honest. Right, I went down here to wait for the hill to spawn again, but then I realised it was going to run out of time, so uh, I'll just speed this up because I was waiting here for quite a while. And then I just wandered over to where the hill currently was, and uh, there were a load of dudes. One, two, oh, oh, step and razor. That was actually my last achievement in Halo 3, so uh, that got me a thousand points. I made sure I celebrated appropriately. Oh, yeah. And there you have it dudes, the four probably hardest achievements in Halo 3, from the original batch anyway. And uh, be sure to check back, achievementhunter.com, see you later.